Welcome back to A Game for Your Thoughts. So we are jumping into our boat. Um, well, we gotta talk to our boat first. Okay. Um, so, Japan has survived. The sea spirit has lived long through the trials of many long years. He must have been caught in the wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we were to believe the world's the words of the Rito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we go to the first to the windfall and search for them there? Sounds great. Let's go. Into the boat. Okay, uh, which direction is Windfall from here? Northeast. Got it. Whoops. We want, uh, right, left. No, it's up, left, right. There it is. All right, we got it. Don't worry, guys. I know what's up. I know how to take care of this situation. I hope. <laughs> All right, northeast. <clears throat> so, to the northeast we sail. Eventually here, I'm going to have to go and get the swift sail, do some uh, auctioning, whatever you want to call it, adventuring through money <laughs> is one way you could call it, but um, hey, it's all good, we're doing good, um, and say if worse comes to worse, I can always um, like fast forward these boat sections, I don't know, I haven't really decided, but like, for the most part, it doesn't seem like just like the straight up sailing, like boat sections haven't been like all too bad. I don't feel like I've hit one yet, or I'm like, oh, and yeah, well, I guess we're still in the boat, and it's, uh, yeah. So, if we ever get to that point, which maybe we will, I don't really know. I don't, I don't feel like the sailing ever gets too boring in this game, so I don't know. But maybe I'll kind of see what happens. Maybe by the end of the game, I'll just be like, ugh, get me to where I need to go, please. But I don't know. We'll find out. Only time shall tell. And time tells us a lot of things, like if it's morning or night or something like that. Um, let's see how we doing. Great, we're coming up on it, right? Unless it's windfall. Okay, no, 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 no. So right there is Tingle Island, which we will need to eventually make our way to. There is windfall. There it is. Hey, there's my big guy. <laughs> um, but um, ooh, I like how it, like you can't see it at all. And then the wind, or then the lightning goes off, and it's like, it's like, there it is, I can see it, and it's pretty creepy, but it's cool, I like it, like, you can kind of, like, faintly see it, but then, like, crackle and lightning, and it's like, ooh, there it is, this is cool, I'm totally down for it, I like how the shark dude's kind of just hanging around, I'm just like, whatever, shark dude, you can't bother me, that's what they should have done in the movie Sharknado, I mean, I would have loved it if they're like, hey, shark, uh, leave me alone, he's like, I'm sorry, um, speaking of Sharknado, what a terrible movie, but very good in its own way, I guess you could say. Um, <laughs> oh, the first Sharknado wasn't too bad. Like, it was bad, but, like, it was, like, funny, bearable bad, but then, like, I saw Sharknado 2, and I was just like, nope, I can't. Like, the whole thing with Tara Reid's character, and she's like, that shark, like, recognized me and, like, targeted me, and I was just like, ugh, nope. That's that's too far, and then she gets her hand bitten off by the shark, and it gets replaced by a little buzz saw, and it's just like, nope, this is too dumb. Like that that was kind of the line for me with the Sharknado movies. Like I was like, this is so stupid. Then they made more of them, and more of them, and guess what? They made more of them. I think now there's five or six Sharknado movies, and it's like, oh no. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> Five or six Sharknado movies. They made at least three or four more after that second one. Ugh. Okay. It's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. Okay. Um, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. I know not what they're researching, but if they're hoping to get their hands off Jabun's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell anyone directly if you were to ask them. Now, Sai, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. He's like, got it. Cool. Um, okay, so he was like, oh, they're probably over here so that nobody notices them. They're literally a massive pirate ship docked on the back side of the island. How is nobody going to see that? Like, that's just so silly and dumb. Um, <laughs> you silly lion. You red lion king. He's like, I am a king of red lions. I'm like, you're a stupid king. Seidel. There it is. Boop. Doop. Doop. Boop. <laughs> nice and easy. Boop. Don't want to slip and fall. Whoop. 
Whoop. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, I just liked his face expression. And he's all like, Doop. and then I'm like, easy does it. And he's like, all right, all right. And just like little tiptoes. I thought that was silly. Anyways, <laughs> sorry for wasting your precious time. I know it's very precious, and I don't want to disrespect that because you're taking your time to watch my video, and so that's awesome. And I love that. I like I like knowing when, like, it's just like, people are taking the time to watch my videos. Like, that's so cool to me. Like, I don't... It's, it's totally all just so awesome to me that people are, like, just taking 10, 15 minutes out of their day to watch my video, and it's like, oh, I appreciate that. They're stealing bombs. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here? Yeah! Oh no, what happened to his glasses? That don't look good. So I bet you're thinking it was a foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over with that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh yeah, that was s smooth. <laughs> I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on Yasai, I knew he was hiding something back on outset. Yeah. So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kin stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Oh, man. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this might be maybe the first time you've shown wit. Such cunning. You know, with the cunning and the Miss Tetris smarts, you two gotta get married and had a kid. That would be the greatest pirate ever to sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. Oh, you idiot. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't be so stupid. I have pink dots under my eyes. <laughs> Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Oh, she's just chilling. Uh, quit goofing off, both of you. Okay. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah. How about we get some grub tonight and show off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine with either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I meant to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah, and I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So, uh, let's say we sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? What, that treasure isn't going anywhere. You're right with me. You're with me, right, boys? Who's in for a night of fun? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Nobody. You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw the demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Yeah. Jeez. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. How's that disrespectful? That doesn't make anything. Don't, don't be ridiculous. You, I want you to know... I want, you know, the treasure... And things like that. And then she's like, huh? Oh yeah, she gets it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. We're settling we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood. Aye aye, Captain. Great. Is that a sideburn dude? I don't remember that guy. Say there, brother, what was today's password again? Or brothers? What? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Well, that's lame. Today's password is Plankton. Yeah, remember? You know, that Nika won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right, and he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Wink, wink. Today's password is Plankton. Yeah. Great. Plankton, eh? Just in case you, the viewer, missed it, <laughs> the word is Plankton. And so we gotta use that to our advantage. Cool. Um... Okay, my favorite thing is you gotta just leave that guy tied up. There's nothing we can do. We talked to him and he was like, <sighs> and I'm like, sorry, pal. Shouldn't have been a loser. And he's like, oh. It's like, well, <laughs> what'd you expect? Okay. So, in case you guys forgot, the password was Plankton. So, let's go and use that password to our advantage. Password. They're gonna be like, who can't walk the plank? Capital P <laughs> L Plank Oops Turn Yeah yeah Think I got it Plankton Right right you may enter Ah so awesome 
I'm so glad I guessed that password. All on my own, completely, without no help at all. It was all me. Just me, figuring it out all on myself. All on myself. All by myself. All me, me, me. Oh, yes I, my old swabby, yes I. You so you're alive. All the other pirates said you gone gotten done in by that big bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind what I thought, you're alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung of the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here with all everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't you set out for your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. Uh, you can see there are hanging lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time you pressed the switch and platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Well, this time there aren't any, which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. So I'm going to magically pop up on the other side of the room. And that's not all. I put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but I'll close it if you don't get here before time runs out. Uh, if you run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Sounds good. I think I can handle that. <laughs> He's like, I'll just lock myself in here. <laughs> the switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side of the room before time's run out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. He's kind of locked himself in that room. Should I just kind of just leave? I should just leave him here. And then he's just like, oh! Oh, I'm from Atlanta! It's a family guy joke, in case you're curious. Um... Of course, it's a family guy joke. I couldn't come up with anything that funny. Oh, whoa. Okay. Um, well, I failed. So we're going to have to go and try it again. Okay. That was weird. I was too good at the challenge, I guess, because I jumped over the thing. Okay. So let's reset the door. Lock him in there. Good, good. And now we will... <sighs> Yawn very loudly and largely. Um, okay. Okay, good. We didn't die this time. Um, but now I don't know how to get to the rope. Um, oh no. <laughs> this is a problem. Um, I landed on the box. Oh, okay. That worked. Um, okay, so why did it not work on this rope? I don't know anymore. I'm confused with everything. But I think we're doing good on the timer. I don't think... Okay, let's slide down a little bit more. Here we go. And swing. And swing. And swing some more. And let go. Here we go. And then I think I can make it from here, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't trust myself. Let's go this way. Sure. Good, good. Okay. Okay. We got it this time. We're doing really swell. Like, shaw, chink. We did it. I'd have been so sad if the door all of a sudden just like slammed, like right as I landed on it. What? You've got a. You did it already? Holy crap. <sighs> you, you're incredible. This isn't good. I've never been past this test. How could he do it so quickly? And it made it look so easy. And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. Uh, so you're the best swampy of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? Jeez, calm down, man. I'm not gonna tell anyone. You're probably gonna get killed anyways, because these are pirates and they like to do things like that. So, I mean doesn't really matter to me i'll get what i want and then your fate is up to your hands my friend um see how that pans out for him probably not very good if we're being honest but hey it's, it's not my problem <laughs> you got the bombs you can carry up to 30 that's not too bad pull one out and press a to throw it or zr to set it at your feet and try it out it's a blast using bombs on your boat gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off seagoing enemies awesome set them to and use them with y x or r got it that's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. Uh-oh, the plot thickens. Um, I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't have to rush things. You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Just like now, the only reason you got what I did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. Wow, that was rude. Yeah, he's back there, and he's like, oh, man... No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. 
And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyways? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right. Now Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on, but the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. So they're basically teeing us up to win. So I mean, like, really, in the end, there's no way they can win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Okay, well then, uh, that seems like a really bad plan on the pirate's end. But hey, who am I to question? Alrighty, friends. Well, we shall catch you next time on a game for your thoughts. I think probably to save some time, I might just go to Outset Island and we'll pick it up there. So we'll see you guys on Outset Island. Thank you so much for watching.